The purpose of this video is to highlight the difference between a successful and unsuccessful outlet owner. The success of an outlet means creating and maintaining a viable business. A viable business makes a profit and that means your income is more than your expenses. Let's see how Tandi maintains a successful outlet. Tandi makes sure she plans how to run her outlet in all ways. She plans the stock that needs to be ordered. The opening and closing times. When to compile budgets. When to pay the suppliers. As well as setting her short term and long term goals. She knows if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. If you don't have a whiteboard like Tandy, you can always plan your business in a notebook. Tandy makes sure she budgets for both her business and her personal finances. Tandy knows and understands her customers. She knows what they want and how she can satisfy that need. She knows, for example, that this customer likes Sprite and always has some in store for when he comes in. She keeps track of a competition and knows what they are doing. She knows her suppliers and where to buy the best product at the right price. She knows who the best suppliers are. She also knows which specials she can buy from the suppliers. She keeps track of sales and expenses, recording them in her notebook as she goes. Tandy is aware of the fast selling products in the outlet, making a note to buy more of this particular item. As the outlet owner, Tandy knows the prices of all her products and constantly reminds herself of it. Tandy makes sure that at the end of the month, she pays herself a salary for her work. Tandy is always thinking of the future and ensures that all her affairs are in order for her family. She makes sure the outlet and family will be taken care of, leaving a legacy of being a hard worker in their memory. Let's take a look at why Jacob is an unsuccessful outlet owner. Jacob's outlet has run out of stock again. With him not being bothered to order new stock, customers can't rely on outlet with inconsistent supplies of stock. Jacob does not have an adequate float available, meaning he never has the correct change for his customers. <laughs> uh. Here, 
he is taking what little money he has from the cash box to go spend it on drinking. Not a good use of his profit. <laughs> Some customers who don't have enough money to pay, Jacob will allow them to buy it on credit. However, he doesn't follow up on payments in future or make a note of it. This leads to a loss in profit. <sighs> Jacob doesn't have a personal budget and simply lives off his own shop. Jacob could learn a lot from his competitor, but he doesn't know what she is doing. Often, Jacob is not even involved in the running of his own business. Paying a friend to work in his shop on his behalf while he relaxes. This friend of Jacob's probably knows even less than Jacob on how to run an outlet. Jacob isn't honest in the way he runs his business, as seen here, where he makes it seem that old milk is in fact fresh milk just delivered today. <laughs> A customer enters the outlet believing the milk to be fresh when in fact it is sour. Over time, no customers will want to go back to his outlet after word of mouth has spread. Jacob may wonder what he's been doing wrong all this time. Luckily, Tandy arrives to help him realize that what he's been doing all along is incorrect and that he has a lot of work ahead of him to become as successful as Tandy. <laughs> 